today we will be seeing hydrocarbon separators they are the test separator and production separator uh, whenever we come across any upstream facility be it offshore or onshore we came across a term called separator this is very common in offshore production facilities uh, which are the oil rigs so in this particular topic we are trying to understand what is this separator and what is the function of this separator why it is used and how it works so separately having uh, when uh, separator is basically a tank or a pressure vessel uh, and the main functions of separator are stabilization of produced fluid and separation of different phases of produced fluid into different fractions so now let's try to understand uh, that whenever uh, a produced fluid which is a mixture of uh, hydrocarbon that is the crude oil uh, gas natural dis dissolved natural gas with a lot of other impurities uh, which is having sand as a solid Uh, uh which is which is a solid uh, sand at the same time uh, there is a produced water which is a part of uh, which is a mixture which is mixed with the produced fluid when it comes from the sea some sea water is also the wa sea water inside the bed is also there in the produced fluid so basically this uh, hydrocarbon uh if which is which comes out from the well stream is not a pure hydrocarbon okay so it is having uh, different impurities majority of the impurity is the sea water so uh, the first important task is to <clears throat> separate out these impurities and uh, uh, to strip out the hydrocarbon content hydrocarbon content which it is in two forms first is gas which is a dissolved gas and the second one is the crude oil of course so uh, this important function of separating out the impurities and the hydrocarbon is done in a uh, equipment which is called as a separator so first function of separator is separation of the impurities and the second function of separator is uh depressurization of crude so let's try to understand what is this depressurization uh whenever the uh well stream comes out from the well which is the produced fluid which is a mixture of hydrocarbon and other impurities whenever it comes out uh it is having a lot of quantity of dissolved natural gas and Uh, it is very important to separate this dissolved natural gas from the well stream the first important reason for this is uh, uh, it is very difficult uh, to transport the live crude live crude is the crude which is having a dissolved natural gas so it is very important uh, for storage and transportation purpose that we remove or we remove this uh, dissolved gas from the crude which is called as a live crude and turn it into dead crude dead crude means the crude which is from from which the gas is removed from, from which the gas is separated out so that is the grade uh, dead crude uh, which is a stable crude okay because if the gas is uh, dissolved in the crude Uh, there are chances of vaporization uh, or bo boil off uh, basically it is not practical that the boil off can happen with the crude oil because it is much thicker but uh, it is the phenomena is same like when we open up the soda water bottle so lot of amount of uh, water, soda also comes out uh because of the pressure of the carbon dioxide which comes out from the bottle the same phenomena occurs so in order to uh avoid this kind of uh, <clears throat> hazard uh the live crude that is the uh, crude which is having dissolved gas 
is depressurized and turned into a dead crude so the dead crude is suitable for storage as well as transportation so the second purpose of separator is transforming a live crude to dead crude first and the second function is the separation of other impurities from the hydrocarbon so these are the two important functions of the separator so now let us see that uh, how the separator looks like so a uh, separator is basically a vessel uh, which is having a pressure vessel uh, which is having an inlet so from the inlet uh, the well fluid enters into the vessel and inside the vessel there is a baffle arrangement and the baffle arrangement basically separates a certain uh, at certain level so what happens uh, the phenomena is that uh, the oil which is the crude is lighter as compared to the water and water being heavier uh, deposits at the bottom is accumulated at the bottom and oil floats over the top so when the oil floats over the top because of the baffling arrangement as we can see in the picture uh, the oil is collected in a separate partition chamber which we can see uh, which is named as oil in black color and water in the other part which is into a blue color and here this oil is separated out at the same time uh, when the well fluid enters into the separator there is a holding time because of this holding time the well stream gets stabilized the water and oil gets separated and the oil then flows uh, into the oil collection chamber which is on the right side uh, when this process uh, this phenomena takes place Uh, the natural gas which is dissolved natural gas means it is not pure natural gas it also has some water vapor and other impure impurities like mercury and all so mercury vapor so all this uh, gaseous form of impurities as well as the uh, gas natural gas uh, they separate out uh, they are liberated from the uh, oil uh, means they are, uh, earlier they are dissolved now they are released and now this gas is being uh, collected from the top uh, which we can see that gas outflow uh, so from there the gas comes out and from the bottom we get the pure oil which is having uh, no water content a minim minimal of water content later on it is uh, later on it is further sent to uh, the next level of separation because uh, this process involves depressurization of the fluid depressurization of the crude like for example uh, the crude which was extracted from the well is at a pressure of say uh, 30 kg per centimeter square so it cannot be depressurized to atmospheric pressure in one single stage so it is it may be maybe uh, the separation takes place in two stage for the first stage the crude is depressurized from 30 kg per centimeter square to 15 kg per centimeter square from 15 kg per centimeter square to 3 kg per centimeter square and in the third stage from 3 kg centimeter square to the 1 kg per centimeter square that is the atmospheric pressure this is how the separation takes place so at the last final stage we get a stabilized crude which is having a minimal of dissolved gas and water impurities in for, in form of impurities so this is how the separation takes place so this is a very important uh, process uh, when it comes to the preliminary treatment of crude and uh, one has to be very uh, process in order to understand the complete uh, process of the pre treatment so uh, it is very important for us to know that uh, how you feel this video and if you have any questions you can type those questions in the comment section of this video uh, we also request you to uh, subscribe to our channel and it is very very important for us to like subscribe and share this video without fail 
so that maximum number of audience can avail this uh, benefit of free training uh, from ganesh piping uh, we are also open for uh, the corporate training of all such uh, technical domains like offshore hydrocarbon sector onshore hydrocarbon sector project management of epc projects so uh, if you are from any corporate background and if you are uh, the key decision maker then you can suggest your management uh, to invite us we would be very happy to provide such a training so we wish you a success uh, thanks for watching this video thank you